Hello and welcome to another Applied Energistics 2 tutorial video. In this one we'll take a look at this setup. It's an uh, automated processor uh, inscriber setup where we can order the finished uh, processors directly from our network and uh, well and it's pretty compact. Two times two times three or uh, times four I guess. And we're using two features to make it this compact. One being that we can rotate the inscriber. So for example, if I put a press in here, you can see it's in the top, we can rotate it around the clock. Okay. And uh, well, I should mention that if you rotate, if you place it in one direction in the world, and you rotate counterclockwise, and in the other count, uh, clockwise. So this is clockwise and this is clockwise, but this is counter and this is counter. So that's a thing to remember if it doesn't work. The next thing is that we're using storage bus in the back as both input and output. And this is very useful and makes it more compact and uh, makes it very uh, actually more simple. So let's order a few and demonstrate that it works. In this setup I have inserted a few acceleration cards to make it more a bit faster. But you can see that we get the gold down here, we have silicon over here and they end up here in the end to make the, the processor itself. So what we'll do is that I build it over here. They are identical. They are only mirrored. So um, and they, that's important for the top part. Remember that. Um, but before we do that, I will want to show you how it works in this setup because it's actually the same thing as we have here. And it's done so we can disconnect and move over here instead. And let's order 10 of these. So we have the same thing. We have an interface where we have the patterns and we have this interface to receive all the items. And from here they will be distributed into all of these inscribers. You can see they are at work. And that's because I have the storage bus back here. Silicon in the bottom with it with the press and we have silicon in this storage bus next one for logic gold of course and you could see we have diamond up here for the engineering and then for the calculation in here we have the pure surface filtered so storage bus and these will be used as input and outputs except for the bottom one where we output to the side um, I'll get back to that in a second, but over here in the final inscriber we have redstone being filtered in this storage bus and we export with the capacity card, we export all these printed circuits. And they come, they come from here, from these storage buses and end up here. But the silicon, because this network is now full, 8 out of 8 channels, we need to have a separate network for that one. So we import the printed silicon from here and we store in here. And in this final one, we need to make sure that the printed silicon goes to the in the bottom and the redstone in the center and then our printed circuits in the top. So the rotation of this one is important in the next step. And then this storage bus will uh, see what's inside and that's why we can export the finished processors from here to here. And with that said, it's time to build this one. So I'll tear it down and I, we, let's build it up together. Okay. So everything starts with one interface where we'll have our 
patterns. One for each and they are created with redstone, silicon and gold to make the logic and then well the same thing goes for the for that ones. That means that we'll get all the stuff here. We have one interface here that will receive them and then let's place our inscribers. This is for our silicon and the th printed circuits down here and then up here we need to rotate I think it was three times. Let's try it and then we'll, <laughs> we'll see if it works. And we need power. This is a separate network on this side for, uh, for silicon. And uh, let's see, we also... Yep, this will be good. Storage bus on the back side of each and every one. Up here, silicon silicon for the standalone network and then we have silicon press up here over here gold and in this one we will have the logic press here we take the pure surface crystal and the calculation press and of course engineering and diamond oh and redstone here don't forget that and this is back and we want this one to be top so let's hook them up like this and over here we want to export all these three so they come they will come from the back side here from the storage bus and into here here let's import print the silicon and store it here. And the only thing left to do is to export the finished processor and attach power. Like this. And with that I think we are done. So let's double check that we have eight channels here active, receiving, exporting, all these are filtered. Oops, not like that. And then we have all the presses are in place, right? And this one has hopefully rotated. This one has power as well. This part is powering all of these. And then power to this network comes from here. So let's try it. 10 of these. And we can see from the back side that our items end up here. We have silicon going to the back side or to the to the side. In the middle, pure surface. And here we have all our three parts. Processor comes and should it end up here. And we can see that the 10 are, are going down. So, okay, let's boost a little like that that should be a, a bit faster at least and because we are fast and we have somewhere to place uh, our our items while waiting we can stack up a big order we can see that we have a silicon stacking here. We have a buffer in here and all these ones also will have buffers. So that we're only waiting for this. This will always be the slowest bottleneck and it needs to have the same speed as this one. But there's no need to have three of these if you're making all of them, but yeah, that's how it works. I hope this was clear. Just remember that it's easy to make mistakes, especially with the top and bottom of this one. But just take it step by step and it should be fine. Okay. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.